We have with us um, Dr. Soborto Kundu, 20 years of service to the community. He's a neurologist, and please give him a warm hand. Of these 20 years, I believe I've spent more hours and days in San Leandro than I spend in my home in Pleasanton. Uh, I'm here in the morning, in the evening, 2 o'clock in the morning. That's my office, and that's the ER and critical care that I cover. Through these months that we have been following this issue of closure, I, for one, have often tried to buy or tried to study the logic that is presented to us by Sutter uh, and, and go through it with due diligence. Time and again, now we are hearing uh, an expression that I'd like to share with you. It's called conflict of interest. I believe that it is said that people like me or Dr. Sani, uh, who are speaking loudly against closure of this hospital, are doing so because we have vested interest here. You betcha. We have vested interest here. Um, and the vested interest lies not necessarily in my private practice or Dr. Sonny's practice or any of the doctors that you see over here. Similarly, I'm gratified uh, each time I see the representatives of the CNA that I see the positions that they have taken not only here but in Sacramento and I wholeheartedly commend them uh, on the people-friendly approach that they've always taken and that the doctors and nurses here do not speak for themselves. I can hold my hand up and say, well, right hand, that I speak on behalf of my patients and not because my private practice is threatened. Believe it, my private practice is not threatened. Um, I am on staff at St. Rose. I live in Pleasanton. There's a hospital there. There's San Ramon. I am also on staff. I indeed have a satellite office in Alameda. However difficult it may be, go to Alameda, as Dr. Adler says. For a doctor, it's not that difficult. You take do a little, you're there. Who is it difficult for? For our patients. And then when I look into my patients, I saw 20 patients between 9.30 till five today in my office, and I just went over, and I've been doing that for the last few days and months. I'm asking that question to every patient. Do you know that the hospital is, clo is closing? It comes as a shock to many of them, believe it or not. And obviously, I practice neurology. I have a 78-year-old gentleman with Alzheimer's and his wife not that far behind. Um, and I know it'll be difficult for them to go anywhere but here in San Leandro where they reside. I have people with strokes, with seizures, convulsions that I see over here. And every day that I treat people in the ER and critical care, I ask the same question. Do we have a conflict of interest? We have a conflict of interest indeed with Sutter. It is possible for people like me or Dr. Sani is to join the Sutter bandwagon and go our merry ways. We choose not to do that. So in fact, we speak against our own conflict of interest to come and speak on behalf of the hospital, of the hospital closure. And finally, therefore, again, the nurses, there's a nursing shortage in this country. They really can find jobs somewhere else, and so can the other staff, so can the physician. The only people that will be affected 100 times out of 100 is going to be our patient population, and the, and the more handicapped the population and more suffering the population, the further that they are going to suffer by this closure. So I would ask you to look at this issue of conflict of interest and see where it finds a home. I would have loved to see people like Mr. Gregory here who has taken a leadership in the city council, but I'd like to have seen everybody. I would have loved to have seen the mayor who I was watching and I saw him drive off in this beautiful green SUV. I would have loved for him to be here and shut me down and take over and tell you that he would reassure the people of San Leandro that in his watch something this drastic and a disaster should not happen. And you should say that to Nate Miley, who I saw from the body language, who is also a big person in the county. They seem to have totally joined the Sutter bandwagon. And who is going to speak against that? I hope you will. Thank you very much.